Uh, hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video, another video in our series uh, dealing with set theory. Uh, it's an application of what we've done in previous videos where we've developed this concept of the principle of inclusion-exclusion. Where this is an example uh, that's based off a three-set a three set scenario. Okay, So let me maybe just give you the scenario first of all. And I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. Yeah, okay? uh, Maybe one or two little small little anomalies in it. Yeah, okay? But let's, let's, just, let's just try this here. Yeah? So let's say we have, there's 120 students. Okay? So we have 120 students. Okay. Let's say that. That's the totality, yeah? That's like our size of our universe. And uh, let's say 40 study biology, or let's say in algebra, okay? 40 study algebra, okay? I'm just gonna pull these numbers try out of the sky and hopefully this, this works, yeah? And uh, let's say 20 study, study biology, okay? Biology, okay? And let's say, for argument's sake, that 55 of them, 55 students study computing, okay? And let's say, for argument's sake, that 25 uh, study none, okay? Study none of the above, okay? Uh, let's say something else. Let's say 15 students, okay, uh, study, let's say, algebra, algebra and biology, okay? Yeah, algebra and biology, okay? Uh, let's say five students study, let's say, algebra and computing, Algebra and computing. Okay. Uh, and let's say, for argument's sake, let's say five students as well study study all three. Study all three. And the piece of information we're missing is okay, the question the question okay, is how many students how many students okay study study well what are we talking about here how many students study algebra and let's say biology biology and computing okay how many students study biology biology and computing I'll just leave that as C O M P okay so we'd like to solve this particular problem Okay. Now, what we're going to use is we're going to use the principle of inclusion for a three-set scenario. And let's just recap on what that actually looks like. Okay, so we have three sets. Okay, we're going to call them A, B, and C. And actually, I'm going to leave them as A, B, and C. A, B, and C in a universe. Okay, that's bounded. Okay, so A in this case represents algebra. B, so let's just symbolize that by the A set. B represents biology. That's the B. And C represents computing. Okay, and what the principle of inclusion exclusion says for a tree set scenario is that the size of the universe, okay, is equal to the size of set A, the cardinality of A, plus the cardinality of B, plus the cardinality of C, plus the cardinality of the complement of A union with B union with C, so the complement of that, okay, uh, plus the cardinality of A intersection with B intersection with C minus the pairwise intersections minus the cardinality of A intersection with B minus the cardinality of A intersection with C minus the cardinality of B intersectioned with C okay uh, so let's just try to let's just keep that in mind there okay if that makes sense okay so hopefully this works for us yeah so let's let's fill in all of our missing information all the well not all the missing information all the information that's been provided for us yeah so the size of the universe is 120 students so we know that 120 must be equal to the size of a well there's 40 students in a to take algebra so it must be equal to 40 uh, plus the size of B how many are taking biology just 20 okay how many takes computing well there's plus 55. Uh, plus, how many study none? That's A union with B is complement. That's these people out here, okay? How many study none? Well, there's 25, okay? Uh, plus, how many study all three, algebra and biology and computing? Mm, there's five, okay? Five study all three. Uh, how many study algebra and, and biology? Algebra and biology, there's 15, so plus... 15 here. Uh, how many study algebra and computing? Well, there's five. Oh, sorry, not plus. Whoops, that's a, a minus 15 here. Let's keep that in mind there. That's a, a minus 15, okay? How many study algebra and computing? That's another minus five. And the only piece of information that we're missing is this minus B intersection with C, 
Okay, the cardinality of the intersection with C. So let's do that. Let's do that on our calculator. Let's add up. Let's add up all the the numbers on the on the right hand side here. So we have forty plus twenty 